Hey there, this is James with Mooney Fine Mineral, and because I want to keep giving you, you know, some good value uh, while I work on some larger projects, here's a low effort drop for the day. We'll specifically be discussing what causes quartz to form with so many different colors. Every piece you see here is a type of quartz. We have some smoky quartz, a couple types of amethyst, hematoid quartz, these little guys down here, uh, hematoid or ferruginous quartz, and shangan quartz, that's that guy right there, uh, which is a combination of smoky, amethyst, and milky quartz. Quartz is the crystalline form of silicon dioxide, and it gets its color from other trace elements present as it forms, as well as a special spicy ingredient in some cases. These little red pieces here, these ferruginous quartz pieces, get their color from iron that formed in a high oxygen environment while in the stone, literally rusting it inside of the crystal and giving it that red color. But what happens when the same iron is exposed to higher than average levels of radiation? You get purple or amethyst. Subsequently, sometimes you'll get aluminum inclusions in quartz, and when that gets irradiated, BAM! Smoky quartz. But what's going on with this guy right here? You know, what's going on with this Schengen quartz? See little hints of smoke, see little hints of amethyst, nice little milky quartz piece. So this started as a small milky quartz scepter, or so sorry, small little milky quartz point. No iron or aluminum, but at some point in its history, a tremendous amount of material was added in and that included more silica, so it grew a lot more quartz. And it also included some iron and aluminum. Add in a little bit of radiation, and boom! Smoky amethyst. This is an especially fun piece, and I like it a lot. Uh, it comes from Zimbabwe, so yeah, that's from Zimbabwe. These two smoky quartz pieces are... Let me refocus in here. These two, uh, these two smoky quartz pieces are from uh, Colorado, Lake George area. That guy's from Brazil. This is from Ireland. I think it's really cool. The little ferruginous quartz pieces, the little hematoids, are from Morocco. But you can find those all over the place. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about these little quartz pieces. And please consider liking and subscribing while you're at it to get some more gem and mineral content. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Just gonna let it vibe for a minute. Just feel like it. <laughs> the one just bouncing in the back.